All right, Matt, what do we got today? All right, we're back with the Rofly Jeep build. Got a Wrangler Black Bear here with a four and a half inch suspension lift that we've already done. That was phase one. We've got our bumpers and winch on the front. It's a uh, double X striker bar. And we got the uh, same bumper on the rear. You guys have already probably seen most of this. Tires are on the way. We should have them soon. We got 37s we're going to be putting on here, getting rid of these tiny, tiny little things. And uh, phase three right now is lighting. We just got. Well, hang on. Before we move on to lighting, I have a question. Shoot. How, how's it handling on these babies? It, uh, it handles uh, like it's on rails. Yeah. Like it's on rails like these. Yeah. It, wow. It, uh, that's, that's a good look. That's anyway, a good look. Very capable off road right now. Guys, he doesn't believe me that he's actually more capable right now with these wheels and tires than the big jumbo, you know, 15 inch wide 38s or 40s. We're going to put those on there and then you tell us what looks better. Okay, let's see what we got here for phase three. All right, what's, what's phase three again? Phase three is lighting. We're going with LED lights for off roading and we're going to upgrade as many of our existing lights as we can with uh, LED lights as well. So we're going to do LED brake lights, LED headlights, heads of some sort. Uh, we're going to do, what about turn signals? Are those going LED too? Uh, right now we've got fog lights and brake lights. We, uh, we've not touched the headlights and the turn signals yet. Uh, that's what we've got in this set. So what I think I'm opening right now is the... Is this maybe a light bar? I believe this should be the light bar across the top. Uh, and we're looking to do three 13 and a half inch rectangles. So oh, cool, 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 cool. We've got three of these going across the top, and then a big uh, black steel or aluminum, I'm not sure what it is, metal bar goes across the top. We're doing the. Uh, that, no, all right, so could, before we even pull that out, but I'm going to talk about our, our, um, our, our uh, overall height limitations. So I believe this to be recessed down, so it should be relatively flush with the top of the Jeep. With the four and a half inch lift and the 37 inch tires, we're up a little bit higher than uh, obviously we were stopped. And so one concern is that we still fit in the garage. And it's not just fitting in our home garage, which is a normal door height, uh, but we've already run into trouble even with just a four and a half inch lift and getting into, we're, we're just outside Washington, D.C. Um, and getting into the garages in D.C. into the office buildings, um, we're already running into the problem where we can't fit in some of them. And then we're going to be a little bit taller. And then we got this light bar concern. Oh, I like that. That's cool. We also are sticking with the texture black, so this matches the rugged rich bumpers that we've got. And so, uh, along with the uh, rock slides on the side, and so it all I think kind of tie together real nicely. Sweet. Do we have to drill the windshield mounts? How how do we mount that? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet. All right. We'll probably have to drill our A-color, I guess. It may, it may come down. I think it fits down onto the windshield screws here. Um, oh, it's down low? And, uh, it mounts up here flush, and then I think it comes down to here. So when I talked to Rugged Ridge, I was looking to do A-pillar lights as well, and they said you can't put an A-pillar light on with this light bar. you got to kind of okay. do one or the other. So I think that I think it comes down and use pre-existing holes, no drilling. Gotcha. Okay, we'll see cool. when we get into it. We're also looking to do five three and a half inch LEDs on the hood with a hood light bar. What's nice about the rounds are you can, instead of the rectangles, is with five of them you can angle the two on the outside to 20 or 30 degrees to get you a little bit of a, a, a disbursement of your light off to the side. You can get the other two spread a little bit and give you kind of a wider spread than you can do with the rectangles. So this is going to do, we'll get the, the direct lighting from the rectangles up top. And then the round on the hood will disperse our light a little bit more and give us a little bit of lighting on the side so that we can kind of see off to the side. So here's your three and a half inch round LED. Then that's off the side. That's, that's going to mount up here. Okay. But are those the same size that are going down on the, uh, for the uh, fog lights or no? Uh, uh, they're, they're, the fog lights are going to be the same size. So you're going to have three of these up here, five of these rather. We're going to angle these a little bit more like this. So when you spread it, you get kind of a cone of light going out like that. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. We're going to mount them on a bar like this. This bar will go Does up that here. get drilled into the hood? I think, it goes, the hood? I think it goes on the hood hinges. Hood I think hinges, all of okay. this is very easy to install. And uh, although we'll, it remains to be seen. So this is, and this is all one kit. You get these five lights. You get the bar. 
all in one kit. Five lights in the bar in one kit. And then was this also just all and, one kit with the three lights? Kit. You can get it separately if you want to do, you can do rounds on top if you want. You can do the rectangles. What I bought, what we got for this was the kit with the three rectangles in the one bar. Okay. All right, so what's next? So we also did uh, two of the three and a half inch rounds to mount on the striker bar in the front. And to mount those, we got some really cool X clamps. I don't know what's in this box. So those are brake lights? Cool. Let's see. So here are the LED brake lights. I think you unscrew them and plug them in. They should be really easy to install. Cool. We've got... Uh, we added a couple of the D shackles to the front. When we got the front bumper, I thought they were already on there. They weren't. So these are these are gonna go on the front here, which I thought would look cool, match up with what's on the back. Yeah, those are cool. Now it's breast cancer awareness month. Why didn't you get those in pink? Yeah. All right, All right. he didn't want to answer that. I'm not sure they come. Let's see what we have in here. got the second one because uh, we have two tail lights. We, we do. All right, so we're going to have two tail lights. So one uh, issue that we're still trying to work out is how we're going to wire these lights. The uh, This is a the A pillar switch pod, which will allow you to mount them on the A pillar inside. Uh -huh. We're looking whether to do that. We think we might be able to do some punch outs inside and use some of the stock holes and not use that A pillar, but this is here for you if you want to do it and put it up there. Can you go over pricing real quick? How much was it's price as a kit, right? So the the roof uh, light bar, how much was that roughly? Do you know off the top of your head or not? The uh, I believe the roof light bar with the lights was was around seven or eight hundred dollars. Might be as much as a thousand tied all together. Uh huh. Um, and then the hood, the 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 five lights on the hood. I don't remember that. I had to look. We'll have to look at that. We'll put that in our in a write up and get it back. Okay. Out there. Right. Here's one of the uh, fog lights. It has mounting brackets and it basically goes in the bumper and replaces the existing fog lights. Alright, so again, no drilling, no nothing. No drilling. It's easy I mount. I think the easiest way to do it is to take the front bumper off. Um, we'll have to look at it. Okay. We got two extra three and a half LEDs. We're thinking of mounting these in the rear bumper, either building some type of a fabricating some type of bracket or cutting a hole in the bumper and sticking them in there for rear lighting. We'll, uh, we're gonna have to do a little customizing on that. We'll figure out what we're gonna do. Yeah, we just wanted some more rear lighting. We wanted some rear facing white LED bright lights. If you look in the back, there's definitely room on this XHD bumper that we got from Rugged Ridge to put some holes here. You could also think about mounting them up here. Uh, we're gonna play around with it and see what looks cool. Okay. Looks like for the front we might have gone with the rectangle rather than the two uh, circles. Oh, we did the rectangle across. Think, that's across the. I think uh, it's gonna go on the striker bar in the front. Okay. So that is that about it? Yeah, there's a few more boxes. We got. Uh, now what about like wiring harnesses and stuff? So we got a, uh, the the thought was on these lights was to part to get a wiring harness for each set of lights. We'll run the light bar on the top on one switch. Light bar on the hood with a second switch, light on the front with a third, the rear lights on a four. On now, the do they come with their own fuse boxes that you mount next to the existing factory fuse box, or what about that? How's that work? So the uh, wiring harness comes with your ground, your your uh, positive, your uh, uh, electrical wires for the switch into the battery, and then it also has a relay. But there's no box that it goes in, so we're gonna okay. look for. We may look for an alternative aftermarket box that will put everything together real neatly. Rugged Ridge simply has the wiring harnesses separately with these lights. Okay. Here's the X-clamp. Oh, those are cool. Where are we putting this? This is going on the front. This fits on the front striker bar. It also fit on any tubular bumper you get. And oh, we'll cool. mount lights. We got a couple extra for GoPros. So we can mount GoPros on when we're going off-road. Oh, after sweet. We get our tires. Sweet, sweet, sweet. A couple more round lights. Maybe we are putting round lights on the front. Awesome. That's awesome. A couple more X clamps, more round lights. More X clamps, more. Wow, that's great. 
We definitely will not have a light shortage, and I'm looking forward to going uh, deer hunting at night. One thing that's nice about the LEDs, which I think most people are using now, is these round three and a half inch lights run about 18 watts. The uh, rectangles are maybe 20 something, and 18 watts for the rounds, and the rectangles are 72 watts. The old halogen six inch rounds that everybody used were 100 watts a piece. So if you have six lights on the top, two on the sides, two on the front, you're running 10 lights, 1,000 watts. You need extra uh, boost on your electrical system to run all that stuff. For here, yeah. we're gonna be running about probably about 20% of that power, and we'll probably have four times the illumination. Right, 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 yeah. LEDs are much, much more efficient than our good old friends, our good old old school Casey highlights. Uh, wiring harnesses, we're gonna get into that later. Maybe a little video on how we're wiring everything. We've got one box left. All right, last box. Ah, uh, these are, uh, I forgot about these, we got some wheel spacers. Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. Yeah, guys, we wanted to have a wider stance, so we did wheel spacers. What size are these? These are one and, a, one and a quarter to one and a half. What does it say? Veil on one, uh, I don't know what these are. One and a quarter? Not sure where these will have to look. I can't remember. Anyway, I, I, we both like the idea of having the wheel pushed out a little bit further. Uh, we don't want to go too much beyond the fenders, but uh, it also uh, eliminates any rubbing that the tires might do on the inside of the wheel well, uh, most notably in the front. So we'll stick the 37s on without the spacers, see how it looks. We'll fill them with the spacers and get the wider stance and kind of do a comparison. All right. That's it. This is great, Matt. I'm pumped, man. We'll get rocking and rolling. Look at that. Is it just a ton of lighting? So how many total lights are there? Um, we even well. We don't There's know. five up here. Then you're gonna do. We got the one across the middle. That's six. Three Seven, eight, nine. That's across the top. Two then the you've back. got two in the back. That's eleven. And then, and then you've got um, an extra two for the. Yes, yeah, so there's thirteen lights. All right. It's gonna be bright. To be able to see. All right, guys. Thanks for your time. We will get articles up showing what we're doing, and then show the finished result. ASAP. Take care. See ya.